Yo, 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 what is going on people out there? Tutorials Project V9 here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys on how to connect the wireless Xbox 360 controller into the uh, PC and what this allows you guys to do is basically play uh, games on your uh, computer using your Xbox 360 controller. Now it is um, something you do have to buy in order for you in a uh, in order for the Xbox 360 to connect to the PC and if you really think about it you're really saving money if you already have a controller in which you have a uh, that came with the Xbox if you already have a, a Xbox 360 controller then all you need to do is go to uh, Amazon or any other um, online marketing site and buy the Microsoft wireless adapter and or sorry game receiver adapter sorry and what this allows you to do is basically um, wirely, wireless uh, connect to the PC with your Xbox, Xbox 360 controller. Now, um, why? What, what I mean when I say uh, saving money is because if you already have an Xbox 360, you'd just be better off getting the um, wireless game receiver adapter. Um, it's only $20. used to be $17, but they rose it up $3, so what? But it's uh, $20 on Amazon. That's where I got mine from. <laughs> But, um, excuse me, but, um, if, um, you go on Amazon and you purchase a, a game controller, just, it looks just like the Xbox 360. And stuff that it has a cord coming out the back of it, and you connect the USB port into the USB port or your computer. But you see that PC controller is like $40. So you see what I mean when I say that, uh, you save, basically saving money if you already have a controller that came with the Xbox 360 <laughs> all right so once you purchase it you um look at the instructions it shows you it, it's really simple to install into the uh, computer the uh, driver and everything but once you get it once you get it installed we're going to just move on to the computer and I'm going to show you guys on how to configure the Xbox 360 all right so here we are at my computer now what you guys want to do start uh, first off start off by just connecting the USB port into the tower or the USB port of your computer and once you turn it on sorry once you plug it in you should have a green light that comes on now if you don't have a green light that comes on after you plug it in it's because that you guys did not install the drivers in which once you purchase it and when you first purchase it when you open up the package and all um, it has instructions uh, CD comes with it has instructions that they like very simple just go ahead and install the drivers, restart your computer, and you'll be ready to go. But you want to go ahead and just plug it in into the uh, USB port. And you want to hit this button right here. And this will basically um, give off signal to where it, it basically wants to search for the Xbox 360 controller. So we're just going to click on it. Or hold it down, sorry. And we're going to go into our controller. And if you don't already have the controller turned on, just go ahead and turn it on by hitting this button right here. And once you turn it on, if you see at the top, I'm pretty sure you guys, oh, there it is. The little button right here, you just want to click on it. And hold this down again. And as you can see, you guys are now connected to the uh, game receiver device. Now on your computer, for me, I already have everything uh, configured, so um, uh, I'm not going to need to like install software. But once you connect the controller to the wireless game receiver adapter, um, it's going to pop up on the computer for you guys. Um, about like right here, it's going to be like installing software. Um, just let it do its thing just let it install and once it's done installing we are then going to go into our computer so i'm going to go into all right and once we have connected our controller to the pc uh, i'm going to have a link in the video description to download this program it's called pinnacle game profiler and what this program does for you is it will configure the xbox 360 controller into a game 
in which you want uh, to use the Xbox 360 controller too. So let's say I was wanting to use the 007 Nightfire um, or play the game, sorry. I was wanting to play the uh, 007 Nightfire game. Um, I used this program to configure the Xbox 360 controller to work with the uh, game. Now I can't play the game because um, my graphics card is not really big enough so it lags like really really bad but I'm planning on getting one a better one here in a couple more days uh, replace the uh, the one that came with the uh, computer but um, the program allows you well it automatically uh, configures the Xbox 360 controller so you can use it with your game you don't have to go into the uh, game on the PC and um, go to the options and try to tweak the uh, settings for your Xbox 360 controller now for this game I don't know about any other game but for this game it won't allow you to just go to the options and just um, try to use the Xbox 360 controller I use this program to do that so let me stop talking and let's get to the fun stuff so configuring the controller let's get to it so let's open up the program sorry pop up let's open up the program here and once we open up the program we're going to be greeted with a controller and device now if your controller is successfully connected to the PC you will have your device it will be Xbox 360 controller right here for the device that will let you know that your device is successfully connected to the PC and down here it says game profiles now I downloaded the 007 Nightfire uh, profile um, or config configuration settings for 007 Nightfire the game and that will allow me to use my Xbox 360 controller for the 007 Nightfire game so if you wanting to download a configuration for your game what you will do is down here it says click here to download profiles instantly and start playing right now you want to click on it and it will open up the uh, pinnacle gamer profiler download menu just let it load here it doesn't take long and it says find a game so basically what you do is you just find a game in which you want to configure your xbox to work for so for me i had downloaded the 007 Nightfire for PC. You just hit download, it automatically downloads and install it into the um, game profile section down here. And all you have to do now is just hit play before you actually load up the game. Now I will show you guys on like the controller actually does work but I can't because the um, computer is going to be doing all the lagging and so especially because I'm recording while doing this um, so it's not really going to work out but I am telling you guys step by step on how to do it so that's all you have to do basically is just follow what I just told you um, make sure before you start the game that you actually hit play now my device is not currently plugged in as you can see it says no configurations found for this device it's because I um, unplugged it there's no need for it for real um, but make sure you hit you click on the game profile in which you just downloaded and you hit play play then that's when you um, actually start playing the PC game uh, on your PC but that is pretty much it um, if you have any questions please contact me I'll especially really 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 get back to you trust me I'm always on YouTube <laughs> but um that be pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe on Tutorials Project V9, and I will definitely catch you guys later.